this is plotting the locus of um, argument of z minus z1 is equal to theta. So if we start off by putting in a complex number at the origin, so 0, 0, and then we're going to put in another complex number with um, an argument of the theta value that we're, we're wanting. So if I do that in the form of r theta, it doesn't matter what the r value is. And if we go with theta is equal to pi over 4. So that's our second complex number. Um, so the locus of the um, r arg z minus z1 will be a, a straight line, so sort of in this direction, z1, z2. Now we're going, we've got um, a fixed point, so our z1, which we're going to call z3. Um, so I'll just put that using the point mode somewhere over here. So that's going to be our fixed um, complex number z3. Now to get um, from here in the direction, another complex number in the direction of z2, we're going to go z3 plus z2. So if I select those, I'll do it in the, the order z2 and z3, and then we add them together. So we've got this complex number here. We can see z3 to z2 plus z3 is a line with an argument pi over 4. Now I'm going to join those together with a line. So if I select them and put in a straight line. So this will be the direction and the position of my line. Now I don't actually need this Z2 plus Z3 anymore. So if I select it uh, and I'm going to hide the complex number there. So that's disappeared. I'm now going to put a general point, a general um, point Z onto this line. So if I wait till the black arrow appears, that fixes it on that line. If I use my cursor, I can see it's, it's fixed on that line. Now I'm going to rename Z4 as just Z. So if I go to edit the label and take off the 4 there, and now I've got a general point Z hopefully is still on that line. Right, now we need um, to have a look at the argument of Z minus Z3. So if I select those, Z, Z3, and then I subtract those, I've now got this new complex number Z minus Z3. And I'm going to put on the argument of Z minus Z3. So if I right click and put on the argument, uh, it's difficult to see there, so I'm going to put that as a text box. Selected the whole thing, so I just want to select the uh, argument there. And though it's uh, labelling it as the angle, so if I put in argument, pi over 4. So if I leave that up there, I can see it uh, more clearly. So now I can see if I move my Z, if I change my Z, I can see that the um, Z minus Z3 remains that argument pi over 4. But if I go further down and I go lower than that, I can see that my argument's changed. So that means that the locus of the argument z minus z1 is just the half line starting at uh, z3, my fixed point, with um, an argument of pi over 4.